Hello there. Day 147 of a screenwriter's journey. Uh, as you... What am I doing here? I'm getting rid of that entire scene? Oh. Maybe I'm cutting and pasting it into this scene. So what I was saying yesterday about scenes with someone who is basically just there for that scene and then he or she disappears. And I think I sort of realized that <clears throat> at some point. And so now I'm basically rewriting this scene and uh, taking the scene with McNeil and making it Paul because Paul is more of a person who has made a difference in Holly's life and will probably continue to. So having said that, I don't know. I still have McNeil up there. So obviously I've got to fix up some of the names. But so this is kind of in the early stages and, and I don't know how much exposition I need to put into this. So basically, from what I understand, oh, I just remembered, I, I emailed the uh, deputy U.S. Marshal four or five days ago with a big, long question, and she hasn't answered yet. What made me think of her is that she told me about the missing child unit, WITSEC, and the sex offenders investigation. I think she was involved. She may still be in the third one. And all of those to some extent, may deal, obviously, the first and the third ones could deal with children, but also the second one potentially, which, of course, in this case, it did. So he's telling her, look, you're interested in getting into this, but if you do, you're going to see a lot of kids that, you know, get, you know, maybe potentially killed, hopefully not, but have been abused, have been in and out of places, you know, have had bad situations. So you can't, he doesn't really come out and say it, but I think the idea is you can't care for them all. You know, you can't become their best friends. You just got to do your job and move on. So that is kind of the idea or what I'm trying to get at here. And then he ends with, meanwhile, welcome back to your boring life. Now, not really boring, but relatively. So... And then the last thing she hears, and I think I just added this. I don't know if I had this in there before. And I went back to make sure that I got the right line. I'm, th I'm thinking of something she could go back. Well, she wouldn't go back, but something that um, I could end that scene with that Holly hears, and it sort of carries over and for the next... You know, the idea obviously isn't for the next 12 years she thinks about it, but I wanted to leave her something to be reminiscing on and for the audience. Now, it appears here that I'm going back and changing the opening yet again. I was looking for something for Holly to remember and kind of leave her with at the end of that scene, but now I appear to be, what a surprise, making another change. I've got Lexi misspelled, not the word, but for our adventure. And then taking out the part about the ant, or maybe I already did, and I'm just kind of changing the dialogue. But I am also, as you see now, her name is Lexi. It's not little girl, but I think I changed that yesterday. Yeah, so I, okay, yeah, so I am changing this. I think this is after I talked to my wife and she said being the aunt is not a big deal in terms of how Lexi would react to knowing that. So that's why I'm changing it. It's funny. I just got to the end of that one scene and I realized that I need to go back and change something. What in the world? So they're trying to make, they're Rachel and Holly both trying to make Lexi feel comfortable, like she can trust Holly, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Holly jumps up and grabs the kiss and then gives it to Lexi. That with, with, with Lexi watching, 
I do that sometimes, and I it's probably overwriting, probably not necessary, but I wanted to make it apparent, again, directing in your screenplay, that the shot includes her. It wouldn't be her POV, but it would... Uh, include her because i think it's important that she sees that holly goes out of her way because rachel probably just you know is a token thing considering she's leaving her little girl um so that's what that is uh may, there i cut it down a little bit so what's going on now Ooh, jealously, jealously, jealousy, jealousy. That's hard to, why is that so hard to say? Jealousy, flicking in her eyes. Ooh, I like that. That's the kind of thing that an actress could really sink her teeth into. It is sort of funny that I went back to the beginning. Well, what do you know? I went back to the beginning again. Back to the future, Marty. 147 in the can. Thanks for watching.